Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Wisdom of Essential Oils. I'm Leonie Featherstone, and it's my great pleasure to be here with you today for the next uh, five minutes to an hour. And we're going to be talking all things essential oils. Now, I use the beautiful doTERRA essential oils, but whatever you're using, maybe you can listen in and, um, and learn something along the way. Now, I love this to be, I'm just going to pop this in the chat because um, StreamYard need you just to give them a little bit of permission or something or other to be able to um, comment with me. If that works, fine. If it doesn't, just keep chatting with me. But tell me where you're from. How's your day going? What name? What part of the world are you living in? Let's have a chat. Hi, Kerry. Lovely to have you on board again. Hope you've had a wonderful week since we talked last. Today's topic is sense of freedom. So we're going to be talking all things oil and emotions around freedom or whatever else you ask me in the chat. But what I'd love to know is what does freedom mean to you? How do you feel when you are experiencing freedom? Hi, Julie. Hi, Nicole. Lovely to have you on. And, of course, what we're also going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing some of our beautiful oil cards. So if you would like um, me to draw an oil card for you and share the wisdom of that card and that oil, um, with a little bit of my own wisdom, I'd love to do that for you as well. So just pop that in the chat, um, just write card or yes, you know, something like that so that I know and I'll write you down. So for those of you who might be new, I always like to start with a card for the collective and um, I choose an oil card, but I also choose another card from my um, very extensive card decks. I just love them. I love having that wisdom on tap. Hi, Annette. How are you? And so um, this one is from, uh, what is it? This is the Divine Abundance deck. So that's that one. And the card that I chose today, which is really interesting, is Detachment, uh, which I think is really a powerful um, concept to understand when we're talking about feeling free. And so the card says to us, with detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfilment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it is fulfilled. And so on this topic of freedom, maybe start thinking about in order for me to be free, what do I need to let go of? What do I need to detach myself from? So, Kerry, you'd like a card, right, and Fiona like would like a card. Um, let me just mention to you guys, I stream into a couple of different <laughs> um, pages and so I always like to let you know I'm not talking to myself if you can't see the comments that are, that are popping up here. Um, Julie, you'd like one too? Fantastic. And Nicole and Annette as well. Absolutely. <clears throat> so... When I'm talking about oils and different ways to use them, I am talking about the doTERRA essential oils because they are the ones that I know and I've satisfied myself about the purity and potency, etc. And I guess the one piece of advice I'd love to give you is that if you are interested in taking up uh, an essential oil journey is to make sure that you do your own research and look at the purity, look at the potency, look at the, the people behind the oils, etc. And um, I just love being in the doTERRA oily family and I'd love to invite any of you who aren't yet using oils or aren't already connected with a beautiful doTERRA wealth advocate to come on a journey with me because I love to share the wisdom. I love to empower you to learn in a way that you want to learn and so that you get the best value out of these gorgeous gifts of the earth that we have to hand. So Kerry, freedom means being able to do things without a constraint and that, that's beautiful. Freedom will mean different things to each of us. Hi, Ashley. Welcome. Yes, I'll write you down. And Sue and Romina. Hello, Romina. Lovely to have you back. Okay, so let's let's have the card I drew for the collective. And this one is our beautiful On Guard blend, which is the oil. It's a protective blend. It's a very protective blend on a physical sense, which is probably good because those of us here in Australia, New Zealand region, are coming into winter and so we always want to be looking after our immune system so the word here is immune so think about this on a physical level um, on guard has wild orange eucalyptus rosemary cinnamon and clove and they're all really powerful at, at supporting us on a physical sense on an energetic sense it's it's very much about setting boundaries and so the the wisdom from our on guard card today is 
let go of any feelings of not being safe. So fill any area of energetic weakness with strength. You can walk easily knowing that you are safe and protected. And this is an oil that a lot of my healer friends will use um, before they see clients. It's just something to give them a little bit of added protection. So hi, Belinda, how are you? Right. Okay, so we might get straight into the um, cards because we've got quite a few and then I'm going to share some other thoughts along the way and, and pop in a few other oils that will be of great use to you with um, our sense of freedom topic. Okay, so first off we have Fiona. So Fiona, let's have a look at what card we're drawing for you today. Ah, very interesting. We have drawn for you Petagrain. The pedigrain um, comes from the wild, um, the bitter orange tree. And this comes from the, the, the essential oils is actually found in the leaves. And so the word for you today, Fiona, is independence. Um, you might be feeling like, um, you know, I'm just like my mother, I'm just like my father, kind of like maybe you're feeling a bit trapped in, a, in like a generational pattern that's, that's flowing through. Well, pedigrain is saying to you, Fiona, you're ready to break free of the conditioning that's bound you so that you may continue your journey of healing and growth. So what Pettigrin is saying, Fiona, is that just because it used to be or that's the way it, it was with your family, or you, you know, back through the generations, it doesn't have to continue that way. You can be the change maker. And, and when you're using Pettigrin, and you might like to pop this in the diffuser or um you know, mix it with some fractionated coconut oil and, and apply it um, maybe over your heart, maybe over your pulse points. You might just want to put it on your personal diffusers and inhale. And you can say as you're doing that, I am free to choose. So isn't it interesting? There's that word free again just popping up. And I love the way the cards just come. I'll pick a topic and then they just come. So Fiona, Pettigrain is for you. Pop in the chat anything else you'd like to share. Um, Ashley, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, let's see what, what we come up with when we get to your card. Okay, so next up I have Kerry. And while I'm looking for these cards, I'd love you to think about what is it, what does freedom mean to you, but what do you want to be free of? Do you want to be free of pain? Do you want to be free of guilt? Free of being tired? Free of, of whatever? Just have a little think about it because I'm a great believer in self-awareness. If we don't ask ourselves these questions, how do we know what we want to deal with? How do we know what we want to aspire to? So just ponder those questions as I choose a card for our lovely friend, Kerry. So Kerry, your card this morning is Spearmint. Now, you've mentioned that freedom to you means being able to do things without constraint. Um, you know, maybe maybe sometimes you're bound or held down by the thought that no one's listening to you. Or... So what Spearman is encouraging you to do is to stand strong and communicate your message. The world is ready to receive what you have to share. The Spearman is very much about finding your inner courage, Kerry. It's very much about having clarity about your convictions. So when you get really clear of your convictions and who you are and what you stand for and what you won't stand for and, and, and what opinions you really hold dear, you'll have that confidence to voice them and Spearman's going to be standing there with you and enveloping you in a cloak of courage to do so. And the more you honour your feelings, Kerry, the more alive you will feel and you will feel free. So as you use the beautiful spearmint, um, you can say, my voice is heard. So that's for you, my friend. Okay, so think about when we're talking about freedom, um, maybe what you can let go of, maybe what you can detach yourself from. Some of you may be feeling really weighed down by other people's burdens or maybe the burdens that you've taken on. No one's asked you to, but maybe you've taken them on. Think about what you can let, let go of. Um, Irene, I will come to that. And with the regarding the health um, issues, I generally like to take them offline and talk about those um, in a private chat. 
it's just that we have to be very careful about what we say and everyone's situation is different. So um, I'll send you a private message, Irene. Connie, you can have a card. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anyone because, you know, those of you who know me well know me that multitasking with technology doesn't always work well. <laughs> I get very much in the moment. So if you've had some experience with using oils to help you let go or to be free, pop them in the chat because we can all help each other that way. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So now we're moving on to Julie. And Julie, your card today is fennel. Now, Fennel is a wonderful card. We often, um, oil, we often think about it as the oil of responsibility. And sometimes it's easy, um, Julie, to get caught up in uh, thinking about, you know, it's, it's not my fault, I didn't do it, etc., etc. Well, fennel is just asking you to move into taking responsibility, full responsibility for yourself. Because sometimes, we might not have done it, but we've reacted to it or we've responded in a way that maybe hasn't been honouring our higher self. And so Fennel's advice to you, Julie, is shift into your body and listen. Release the emotions that you've been storing and move forward. The other thing with Fennel, Julie, is that it is the oil of responsibility and sometimes maybe you're taking on other people's responsibility to the detriment of your own self. And so maybe it's about putting your own needs a little bit higher up on the list. And so as you use this oil, as you use the beautiful fennel oil, you could say to yourself, I take full responsibility for me. Now with fennel, I better write that down in case you come back to me and say, what was my oil, Leone? <laughs> now while I think of it, um, I am very passionate about these oils and how they can work us work with us on a holistic way, mind, body, spirit, working with the physical to help us to then to be able to work to heal our heart and then to open us up to, to our greater possibilities. And I would love to invite you to come on a journey with me. As I said, if you already have a connection with another doTERRA wellness advocate, I honour that. Integrity is everything for me. But if you aren't, come, come on a journey with me so I can be your oily guide. We have an amazing offer at the moment and it goes to the end of this month. Well, there's 20% off our starter pack. So it's an ideal time to just get in and really start to play with these oils and get to understand their, their magnificence and how they can really shift uh, patterns of behaviour. They can shift so much that's going on within us and create more freedom for you on a physical, emotional, spiritual level and really help you to be this amazing being you're meant to be. And so... Um, that being said, I want to move on to Nicole in a moment, but I want to check my questions. Um, Belinda, you've lost touch with your oils. Oh, yes, come back, come back. Um, they really are the, some of the best friends you can ever have in your life, particularly when you learn how to use them on all different ways. Kerry, what's the difference between spearmint and peppermint? Spearmint, um, I'm not quite sure whether you mean if you haven't experienced them taste-wise or wondering what their properties are. But spearmint on an emotional level, we look look at that, you know, helping us to find courage to find our voice and to and to stand strong in our convictions. And and peppermint is is to me it's more potent, but it it's actually it's very energizing on a physical level. It has so many physical properties, we could be here all day. But on an emotional level, we often see peppermint being just helping us to take a breather, to lift us out of whatever place space state we are in and just sort of like oh I just can't deal with it right now I just need to take a break knowing that we do need to go back at some stage and deal with that um, they are still those beautiful mint I find peppermint quite quite strong and in, when I was a kid I didn't like the, the peppermint chewing gum I like spearmint because it was softer and I have to say I do love using spearmint in fudge um, I put spearmint in the diffuser yesterday thinking it would be kind of soft, but it is very strong still. So it's it's one of those things, it's a personal choice, depending what you are looking to address, but also your your nose will be the barometer there, Kerry. <coughs> but both have a very uh, important part, part to play in my in my life. So I wanted to just mention with fennel too, Julie, and for everybody, fennel is a beautiful oil to bring into your cooking. Um, 
I put some in a dip the other day. I can't remember. I just I just experiment all the time making up different hummus dips and adding them in. But it is beautiful in chocolate as well. I add it into, into chocolate. And, of course, it's wonderfully supportive for the digestive system. So, Nicole, it's your turn. Um, okay. So you have a beautiful blend here that we call Steady. And um, this is very much about anchoring you. So this oil is very much if you're thinking, um, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure what's coming next, which way am I going? And so whatever's going on at the moment with you, Nicole, and you're feeling a little bit like a without a rudder, uh, this is very much going to be anchoring you so that you can take a breath and really think about what's going on right now. So the message from, from this beautiful blend is although things are shifting very quickly, be present and know that this is part of a greater plan. So sometimes, you know, when you're out on a boat and it's rocking and you really can't do anything, sometimes you just have to go with that go with that and knowing that when wind stops flying or the seas stop raging it will just be smooth and you will you'll feel at ease again so with this blend you can use it and tell yourself i take it one step at a time there's no need to see every step between here and where you want to go nicole just take the first step steady yourself take the next step take the next step etc Fantastic. So that's for you. Let me write that down. Okay, any more questions? Um, Belinda, no, I don't. I didn't make them, but there's a whole raft of different essential oil cards out there, and um, I have quite a few, and it's really just I like to mix them up. Um, but, no, I didn't make them. I didn't make them. I do have a set of cards in the wings. It's more to do with nature, but, um, yeah, there's, there's lots out there. Maybe maybe just Google it. Nicole, that was accurate for you. Beautiful, beautiful. And Sue, you would love to join our oil group. Fantastic. I will I will send you a message, Sue. I'd love to love to have a chat. Okay, um, Nicole, that one is our it's our steadying blend, and um, I, I think I said I called it steady. I'll have to double check the the because we put some generic names on here. I'm pretty sure that is the anchor blend from our yoga range, but I will look that up and I will send it to you. I have to tell you guys, I'm, uh, if I'm not quite with it today, I've got to tell you why. I picked Sense of Freedom today because we're hitting the road straight after this show. Farmer Green and I are heading out west out um, to Mount Isa via a lot of different country. We love getting on the road. It's a real sense of freedom to both of us. We love the bush. We're both brought up in the bush with the country, that's why we're on a farm now. Heading out to Mount Isa to catch up with some family, do a little bit of um, uh, work out there as well with my beautiful Isa team. And yeah, so that's, that's I'm kind of like, yay, so excited right now. But um, Belinda, yes, I will, I will follow up with that with you for sure. Okay, so I wanna come back now to who's next on our list, Annette. Annette, are you still with us? If you do have to hop off, know that you can come back on and um, listen to the replay. Now, I want to just also do a shout out to Sarah Watkins from Spiritual Events Directory, which is um, where I also stream this show. And um, Sarah is an amazing friend and pretty much manifested that group all those years ago and is doing an amazing job and has brought together a wonderful team of healers, psychic, spiritual people. And a super shout out to Jess Beard, my beautiful friend Jess Beard, who um, is such an alchemist and I, she's going to take my slot next week and talk to you about all the wonderful gifts she has to share. And she talks a lot about the archetypes and, and she's doing uh, mentoring and all sorts of wonderful things. So please, I won't be here in this spot next week, but Jess will be. So hop on with her and listen to what she has to share because she's a truly gifted, beautiful soul. Okay, and so Annette, you have chosen lavender. I was just saying to a group yesterday because I teach a weekly class in my local area and I was saying to them, so often we overlook um, the good old favourites like lavender and lemon and peppermint in favour of some of the new blends, but you can never underestimate the power of lavender. In fact, we often call this the Swiss Army knife of oils because it has so many different properties. Um, 
But Annette, for you right now, perhaps the word is balance. Perhaps you are feeling a little unsteady and it's not it's not unusual in these weird times we're experiencing right now, but maybe it's time for you to find some balance in your, in your world. And maybe you are also feeling a little bit like a fish out of water that people don't understand you. So what Lavender is saying to you, from a place of love, you need to stand up and speak your truth. What you wish for is what the universe wishes for you. So lavender is very much, it's a very gentle oil. So it's, it's suggesting that to be gently assertive as opposed to aggressive and speak your truth. Your words have worth. They deserve to be heard. So know that. And so as you use lavender in your diffuser, as you anoint your body with it, as you... <laughs> As you use, perhaps in your cooking, a friend of mine made a beautiful slice with lavender in it the other day. So however you choose to use your lavender in it, use it and say to yourself, I ask for what I need. So believe that. Believe that your words, your desires have worth and deserve to be manifested. And the first place to start there is to ask. So that's for you, my friend. <coughs> So freedom, what does freedom mean to you? Kerry, Jess is good. I'm not quite sure I understand that, Kerry. You might want to expand on Oh, Jess is good. Yes, yes, Jess is wonderful. I get it. Thank you. I'm slow today. Sorry, guys. Okay, Ashley. Okay, this is a really good oil for this time of the year at the moment and particularly for this topic because, Ashley, you have chosen tea tree now when I'm talking about freedom sometimes we need to clear out so maybe with you Ashley this is time to clear the way maybe you're feeling like um, things will never change mm, but this is the time for you to evolve this is all about evolution moving through clearing out cleaning out and tea tree is a wonderful oil for cleaning and cleansing and cutting ties to things that no longer serve us. And so Tea Tree says to you, Ashley, the imbalances and relationships that have been keeping you down are no longer needed. You are ready to transform. So get out that cleaning brush. <laughs> clean out, clean out what that which is no longer serving you and know that change will come. As you're using Tea Tree, say to yourself, I attract only what is for my highest good. <clears throat> and know too that tea tree is really powerful, Ashley. Maybe you may have been attracting um, relationships that are a little bit parasitic. The thing when we are looking at change is not so much to look at changing others, it's to look at how we can change our own ha habits, patterns, behaviours. So maybe those were what was not serving us and attracting that. So what, what, are our, what are our thoughts? What are your thoughts, Ashley? What are your patterns that maybe have been attracting that which is not good for you? Know that you deserve the best. Know that when you go through this evolutionary change and clear out, use your tear tree, you will attract everything that is for your higher good. So that's for you. Okay, how going for time? Fantastic. Belinda, did I write? Yep, Belinda, I've got you down. Right, we've got quite a list this morning. Um, another oil I want to suggest here, uh, well, it may come up later with one of you, is black spruce. So sometimes I think people are not chasing their dreams or, or finding that freedom, whatever it means to them, because they're disconnected, disconnected to their true potential or, or you know, maybe they've got a They've got a different picture of, of who they are. They're not seeing it. Do you ever find that sometimes you have a friend and you see them as this magnificent being able to do just about anything and yet they feel like they're just not worthy at all? Well, maybe have a look inside. Is there a little bit of that in you? Are you feeling a bit dis disconnected? Are you really standing in your power? Are you really focusing on those great dreams that can be yours or are there some limiting beliefs there that need to um, be released well black spruce can help here 
So maybe you could mix that black spruce in some coconut oil and you could just, you know, with love and forgiveness, massage it over your heart and your pulse points and release those feelings of holding you down and wipe those eyes and see that beautiful being that you're meant to be. So black spruce will be a good oil for you. Okay, so Sue, I'm up to Sue. And Sue, your oil is past tense. It's another amazing blend. Now, I have to let on here. I actually don't really like the smell of this oil, but I will not go anywhere without it because for the occasional time when I will get a tension headache, which generally comes from my structural issues, I because I it's in a roller and I roll it up and on those knobbly bits on your on your on your scalp and massage it in. And it is just so powerful. Um, I'll also massage it behind the ears, not on the temples, because what happens, my character channels are quite defined and we the oils just slide straight into my eyes, and that's not good. So the tension blend is very powerful at releasing physical tension. Um, it can also work on an emotional level, though. So let me, um, Sue, coming back to you. So I just want to give you a few physical ways to use it. But for you, Sue, oh, I feel like you just need to breathe it out, girlfriend. You need to just oh, let it go, release, release. And you might be feeling like you just depleted, there's nothing left. Or maybe when you let go of you know maybe some of that tension that's just taking up space and holding you in constriction allowing you to take in all of the abundance that's there you will feel freer and be able to um, feel not only more physically able but emotionally able to take on whatever life has for you and so the message from past tense is Dear one, it is time to settle. Create a sacred space where you can be. In that place of rest, healing will unfold. And so as you use this beautiful blend, you might like the aroma. It's very, very pungent. As you use it, you can say to yourself, I nurture myself. And so as you let out all of that tension, because think about it, when you're, when you're holding tension physically, it's like you create, you, you're cramping everything. So when you actually relax and let that go, you'll breathe more fully and you'll breathe in everything that life has for you and life will be good. So that's for you, Sue. Okay, so Romina, I'm going to pick a card for Romina now. Um, another oil I want to quickly tell you about that before I choose Romina's is, is cypress. Cypress is very much the oil of motion and flow and letting go and allowing the good to flow. And so when we can identify, and this comes back to self-awareness, identify that which we want to let go of and then intentionally cut it out physically, cut it out emotionally and just see it float away. You might want to visualise it like a little hot air balloon floating up into the sky until you can no longer see it. So pop some cypress into your life as well. It's a great one to add into massage. So you might want to pop some ginger and some cypress and some ice blue blend together with your beautiful blend for any creaky bits, <laughs> but also just to help you let go and to be having some aromatic anchoring there, an affirmation, I let go of all that doesn't serve me as you're doing it, would be really powerful. And so, Romina, you have myrrh, the beautiful myrrh oil. So myrrh is a beautiful oil. We often, on an emotional um, level, we often feel like we're connected to Mother Earth, to, to all that is Mother. And so... Maybe right now you're not feeling that you have support. Myrrh is going to bring you back into that fold. And so Myrrh's advice for you, Romina, is take comfort and know that you are supported. Nurture your inner child and connect with the earth. And if you think about, we often think about Mother Earth, Mother. So this is, you know, maybe this, maybe this is a time to revisit some of your connections with physical mother or mothers in in the generations and to look there 
Um, maybe you didn't feel that you had that as a child, but you can recreate that connection with Mother Earth. So go back into nature, get your shoes off, just walk on the grass, spend time with some trees, look up at the clouds, get really connected with Mother Earth. And as you use this beautiful myrrh oil, say to yourself, I move forward with divine grace. So that's for you, Romina. Hi, Narelle. How are you? Love it to have you on. Thank you all so much for joining me today. We're talking about sense of freedom. If you want to pop in the chat, what that means to you. What do you want to be free from? I mentioned um, ginger and, and um, ice blue. And I think, I, what was it I mentioned to you? Was it black spruce? I can't remember now. As a, as a, as a rub, you know, that's good free from pain. So it doesn't have to be emotional. It might be something that you want to be free from physically. Um, Narelle, sure, we can do a card for you. I'll just write you on the list so I don't forget. So let's move on then so that we do get through everyone. Belinda, I'm up to you. You probably thought we were never going to get there, but there's quite a few people on today wanting to hear the wisdom of essential oils. Oh, Belinda. Bingo, you have drawn frankincense, or as we like to call him, Frankie boy. Frankincense is such a beautiful, powerful oil. So, Belinda, if at any time thought has crossed your mind that you are alone, please know you are never, ever alone. And that's what frankincense is saying to you. You are never alone. And this is your time to bring frankincense into your world, to become enlightened. We talk about self-awareness and then there is enlightenment. And I think I love the word enlightenment because it's about being lighter, which ties in with that freedom, free. So what do you want to, how do you want to lighten your load right now, Belinda? What do you want to let go of? What do you want to be free of? And frankincense is saying to you, dear child, you are safe and loved as you continue on your journey of self-exploration. Frankincense is such a wonderful companion to have on this journey called life. Frankie helps us to let go of lower vibrations. It reminds us of our divineness, you know, seeing the divine within, connecting to the divine without, looking at him and learning the lessons from him. I love I love looking at nature as those of you who, who pop on with me regularly know and looking at what are the lessons it, we, can, we can learn from it. And frankincense to give us this beautiful, rich oil that will support us on so many levels. He has to open himself up. He allows those wounds. The tree has to be scored to allow the, the, the frankincense resin to emerge and then it hardens and then that's harvested. And so sometimes we too have to open ourselves up and be vulnerable. So maybe, Belinda, there's a time to be a little bit vulnerable so that you can show that that inner side of you that will actually lead to strength. Just as the resin comes out, then it strengthens, it hardens, and then from that is what we get the beautiful oil. And so as you use your beautiful frankincense, and again, you can diffuse it, you can apply it topically, um, it has so many beautiful physical, you know, support roles to play. You can say to yourself, I am one with all that is. So there you go, Belinda. Okay, so Irene, we're up to you. And look at the time ticking on. You've all got a beautiful week planned ahead. Um, and the weather is gorgeous where you are. So we have... For you, Irene, the beautiful Cellubel blend. Now, right now, right now, are you feeling a little disconnected? Are you feeling a little bit disconnected spiritually? Cellubel is saying to you, it will be beneficial for you to spend time in quiet contemplation. You need to reflect within to find the answers you seek. Because, Irene, everything is within. We need to go within before we step outside. And if we fail to go within, we will go without. And so, my friend, take some time, 
find a quiet sanctuary, pen and paper, use your cellular bell, journal, ask questions, listen to what comes up because Sally Bell wants you to know that everything is connected and you are connected. It's just perhaps you need to take some quiet time and, and, and see, see those areas where you feel that it is connected. Just gently reach out and touch and come back together again so that you can feel whole. It is a beautiful blend, Irene, to use spiritually. It is also a beautiful blend to use Physically, we use this one um, very much like a serum for our face and I will roll it over my face and up my arms because I have a farmer's tan. <laughs> and um, it's really nurturing and soothing and supported, supportive of our cellular regeneration. And the good news is that one is actually um, on discount this month. So <laughs> anyone interested in that, let me know. So that's for you, my friend. Okay, who do we have next? Belinda's feeling really connected. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so a couple of other oils before I move on to, I have Connie next. And Kim, I think you might be asking me for a card too for stress, but we'll see what comes up for you as well. And if not, I'll come back to some other oils for stress. Okay, so sandalwood. Uh, quite a few of you had um, suggestions to take some time and, and to go quietly. And I think when we're looking to... Um, find answers we need to ask questions and we need to ask questions of ourselves and I think sandal is a beautiful oil to bring in to just quiet the mind quiet the mind and help us to go within and to really connect and to listen and find that that inner wisdom that that is there it helps us to shut out all materialistic goings on and the noise and to come into ourselves and so maybe bring some fr the sandal in. I'd also love to suggest uh, thyme. <laughs> I'm not talking about T-I-M-E. I'm talking about T-H-Y-M-E, which is amazing in your cooking. But thyme is about releasing. So it's actually very um, supportive of our respiratory system of kind of purging and helping to let go of, you know, anything that's built up in there that's not serving us. But, but it's also helping to release and purge any toxic emotions or you know toxic buildup that we've acquired over our years and so we want to open up and let go of all of that because guess what when we let go it leaves space and when we have the right mindset we will attract in what serves us we'll attract in abundance etc and so pop some time into your, into your daily re regime as well so connie this one is for you and you have Arbor Vitae. Now, I love trees. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I love trees. <laughs> so your word, Connie, is flow. Flow. Isn't that beautiful? Even just saying it, it's like flow. You can just see yourself on a little, little felucca floating down the Nile perhaps without a care. Everything's flowing smoothly with ease and grace. And so maybe you aren't feeling that way right now. You're maybe feeling that it's a bit rough in that boat and maybe you're stuck up against a rock and things are really tough. So what Abhavite is saying to you is take a breath, dear one, and allow yourself to feel the flow of life. Feel the flow of life flowing through you. Release your need to do and just be. As a friend of mine says, we're all so busy being a human doing, we've forgotten how to be a human being. So this is very much for you, Connie. So with Arbor Vitae, it has so many lessons for us. It's an amazing big tree that grows in the, in the, in the north continent of America and they can grow for hundreds of years. And when they do fall, they can fall and they can just lie in the forest and they won't be attacked by insects for decades because they have that protective element within. And so that's another thing that um, Arbor Vitae has a message there is that we are safe, we are protected. And so keep that in mind, Connie, as well. And as you're using this oil, which, by the way, is very um, good for keeping away bugs, 
So it can be helpful to keep away people that are bugging you that maybe are adding to your struggle. Tell yourself, I am in the flow. I am in the flow. So that one is for you. So we'll come up to Rel, and then I just want to talk to you about my blend that I've come up with for this week because I always like to come up with blends and some affirmations. Okay, so Narelle, you have pink pepper. And I love pink pepper on so many levels, but it reminds me of how wonderful doTERRA are in looking after the people on both sides of the bottle and making sure that our growers um, are supported and have everything that they need. And I'm reminded of a trip to Kenya where our pink pepper, um, one of our sources of pink pepper is Kenya, and uh, of a beautiful lady called Veronica and how um, she was in a, in a very low state of her life. Her husband had been killed in an accident. She had young children, and, and they lost the company home. He worked for a company, but because he was no longer there, she was put out, and she had no water. She had no housing, etc. and times were tough. So she started making rope out of grass and selling it to the local store. But when they didn't need it anymore, she went to the truck stop thinking she could sell it there. And they didn't want it, but the truckies would buy her. And sadly, she had to lose her dignity to provide for her children. Along came Mr. Kigo, who was working at the Pink Pepper Farm. And he saw her sitting outside um, the truck stop. And he said, I think you'd be really good at picking pink pepper. And so she said, I can't. I, you know, I can't be away from my children too long. And so he said, I'll give you an advance so your children can go to school. And she started picking, picking pink pepper. And the rest is history. She now is doing really well. She has a home. Her children go to school. And life has changed for her because of um, doTERRA's um, support of the pink, pink pepper industry in Kenya. So know, my friends, that when you are using doTERRA oils, that the people on the other side of the bottle are being looked after as well. Because not only are people like Veronica uh, being empowered, but, um, you know, doTERRA has built water supplies, it's built schools, so it's actually helping with all those things that you and I probably take for granted. And that's what I love about doTERRA. I love the heart behind these oils as well as the integrity of ensuring that these oils are pure and potent so that you can have peace of mind using them. But, Narelle, pink pepper, what can it do for you? So the word is grace. And maybe maybe you might have be falling into the trap of comparison right now of kind of thinking, you know, what do they have that I don't? Or you're comparing them that you feel less of because other people are more. Comparison is the thief of joy, my friend. Uh, we have to let that go. And Pink Pepper is going to encourage you to do that and have more grace for yourself. So Pink Pepper is saying to you, allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find the perfection in yourself and those around you. Look for good and good will be found both with you and with others and pink pepper is such a beautiful oil to bring into your your kitchen but also it's quite warming so you could bring it into some some aromatic dressing or you know for some soothing uh, massages and as you use this oil please um, tell yourself we are all special I do apologize I forgot to turn my phone down <laughs> um, so pink pepper is is your oil Narelle Please know you are special and bring that in. And if any of you don't have these oils that I'm talking about, just connect with me and um, I'll show you how to get them at the same price I do, which is wholesale and better. So that's pink pepper for you. So let's come on to Kim. I'm going to do Kim and then I'm going to do my blend and we might wrap it up for there today so that I can get on the road. I'm so sorry to be leaving you early, but I'm excited to be getting on the road. But I do want to just come back and send you a few messages before I do. So, Kim, you have the very beautiful basil. Now, basil is such an amazing oil in the kitchen. I love whizzing up. I like I make a basic hummus um, mix, and then I'll add sun-dried tomatoes and just a weeny drop of basil. Very potent. And it is, oh, that, that explosion of flavour that you get into, into your dishes is amazing. But, Kim, you mentioned you were stressed. Well, basil is very supportive of the adrenals. So this is perfect for you. And if you want to um, actually, um, as an aside, Aroma Touch, our beautiful massage blend, would be perfect for you because it has basil in it. But let's come back to just what basil is sharing with you. This is about giving you inspiration 
to move ahead. Basil is the oil of renewal. So as much as you might be feeling right now, I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired, just take a breath. Take a breath, Kim, and know that support is at hand, that things can work out. We just need to have you take a little bit more care of yourself. So Basil is saying to you, please rest. Please rest, Kim, and know that in the stillness, you will learn clarity around your purpose here because, as you know, we all need to have a purpose. The need to cope will fall away as you find the question you are the answer to. Very deep, very deep. So Basil is very much about the oil, um, about renewal, but you need to rest so that you can renew. And so as you use this, whether it is to flavour your food and just, I just feel that explosion of flavour in my mouth right now, or whether you add it into a soothing massage or whether you um, use the aroma touch which has it in it, say to yourself, I find strength in my purpose. So, Kim, I hope that that helps you. There are some other beautiful oils, Kim, I'd like to suggest for stress. Lavender Peace is a beautiful blend, um, not it's, it's good for calming the mind of all that monkey chatter and just really soothing, helping let go of stress. Um, my nighttime blend of choice in the diffuser, um, swipe under my nose, on my hands, inhale, along my shoulders, just love it. So it has lavender, it has sandalwood, it has ylang ylang, Roman chamomile is very good for finding purpose. It's also very soothing. Marjoram, the oil of connection, helps to relax the muscles. So... There's a, that's a beautiful blend for you too, Kim, to actually help you let go of a lot more stress. But just before I go, I want to share with you um, a blend I put together, a sense of freedom, and it is Cypress. I mentioned the oil of flow, of letting go. Those of us amongst us who are perfectionists, um, sometimes we just we do it to our own detriment. It's really good to do a job well done, but not when it starts to um, cause too much stress for ourselves. So Cypress is about letting go and flow. We don't have to control everything. Neroli. Neroli is very much about innovation, inspiration, harmony, unifying relationships. Um, and spearmint, I've already talked about spearmint for um, Kerry, but very much about letting go, bringing in the harmony and, and also standing um, standing gently assertively in the, in it with our own convictions and voicing those. Because sometimes the reason we're not feeling free is because we feel trapped. We're not expressing ourselves. So as I use that blend in the diffuser or as I anoint myself, I'm saying, I let go, I flow, I am free to be me. So that's my blend um, for you today, my friends. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have an amazing week. I'm going to pop back and send you an all a little private message or comment reply to your comments. Feel free to reach out to me on Facebook on Sense of Empowerment or you can friend request me, Leonie Featherstone. I love I love chatting. I love one-to-one -one personal interactions and I'd love to invite you to come on a journey with me so I can be your guide, help you get the oils that are going to serve your needs and show you how to get them at the best price. Remember when you get oils, you don't just get oils, you get me as well as your oily guide. So thank you so much for being with me. Feel free to send more questions at any time. Um, I'm here to serve. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy being with Jess Beard next week, and I'll see you the week after. Bye.